With most gyms still being closed, I figured I can show you guys the equipment I purchased uh, from a used commercial gym retailer to do what I envision as a complete full gym workout on somewhat of a budget, you know, five, six, seven thousand dollars. So, you know, by all means, if you are on a stricter budget, you can spend less money. You know, you can make your own concrete weights. You could do this. You can do that, and only spend five, six, seven hundred dollars. Uh, but to me, this was the solution. Granted, gyms are closing, and some of you might be familiar. We did the video a month and a half back on how I was very unhappy uh, with the quality of equipment that I purchased uh, from Fitness Equipment Empire. Unfortunately, uh, I haven't been able to find any replacement gym equipment, so I am still stuck with that. And I don't really know if I'm just gonna get rid of this equipment and stop the bodybuilding stuff, or if I'm gonna be able to find replacement equipment anytime soon. Uh, so I figured I might as well just show you guys what I have what I'm using it for, so you guys have a brief understanding of what my workouts are looking like right now. At face value, it looks pretty minimal. You know, there's basically three sections. Here we have the power rack with the barbell, uh, the adjustable incline bench. Uh, we have the Olympic plates over here and some dumbbells over there. The dumbbell set is five to 50 pounds. Uh, some more of the dumbbell set over here. Lat pull down machine with two grips. We have the straight bar and the lateral grip bar. And then we have the functional trainer with you know cables we have the ropes we have this just a bunch of different attachments and this is literally all i have i mean this cost me about six thousand dollars and then another thousand to have it shipped um, you know we, we can talk about that again another time and guys keep in mind i do not work out my upper legs i do some glute stuff and quite a variety of, of glute stuff but if i was working out my quads and hamstrings i would definitely get like a quad extension machine, perhaps a hamstring curl, uh, maybe even like a reverse hyper extension, uh, just to get a bit more variety in here and there. Uh, so this is pretty much complete, but again, if you wanna work out your upper legs, doing more than squats, I mean, look, you could do upper legs completely with this set of equipment. It would be nicer to have some leg specific machines though. So I'm literally just gonna tell you guys every single exercise I do on each machine. And the vast majority of my workout is done on the lat pull down and on the functional trainer because, you know, back and chest are the two biggest upper body muscles. So I spend a lot of time focusing on rows for back and I spend a lot of time focusing on cable flies for chest. I'm dead serious. You know, I spend two to three out of six exercises for back on the lat pull down and I spend two to three out of four exercises on the functional trainer for chest. So, you know, 70, 80% of my chest workout and at least 50% of my back workout are done on these two machines. The rest of my back workout will actually be done on the functional trainer. So I'll do three exercises on the lat pull down, then I'll do one or two exercises on the functional trainer, you know, with some single cable grip, some rope grip maybe. Perhaps I'll do a dumbbell row for back but that's really it. Literally the majority of my chest and back workout on these two. Maybe once every few days I'll do, you know, some chest flies with dumbbells or some chest press with dumbbells. But the chest and back that you guys have seen me develop has been on a lat pull down machine and a functional trainer. That's my training style. That's what I like doing. I can't wait to show you guys it. Uh, this does have a pull up bar and maybe one or two days a week I will incorporate some pull ups into my back routine. But you know, by no means is it a huge part of my back routine. So Frank, you're telling me you bought an Olympic weight set, this barbell, all these dumbbells, and you're not doing deadlifts, flat bench press? No, I have not. I have not utilized these exercises or really this rack that much, and I honestly you know, should probably say I don't need it. So after I bang out back and chest, which probably takes 80% of the time of my workout, I'll move on to shoulders. And for shoulders, I'll either do a dumbbell seated press or a barbell seated press. That's gonna be one exercise.